go and we tap it in and oh let's see uh oh there i heard a little uh oh we have a slight oh there we go you may have seen a little effect there similar to what you see in twilight princess tapping the amiibo to the wii u gamepad in breath of the wild will bring wolf link into the game as a partner character um, so we've been showing you a lot of the game, we've been showing you running around and exploring. Perhaps what you've noticed is that Link does not have a partner character in the game, um, and that is true. Typical of, uh, of a Zelda game, you would normally see somebody like a Navi, or uh, in the case of Twilight Princess, a Midna. In the case of Breath of the Wild, Link is generally exploring alone. Um, and so if you do want that partner character, you would tap in the Wolf Link amiibo and call Wolf Link in. Wolf Link does a variety of different things in the game, uh, in addition to just kind of being a partner character that runs around with you. Uh, as you can see here, Wolf Link helps with combat. Um, he will actually uh, attack enemies and, uh, and will help you fight them. Yeah, he actually barks when he finds enemies for me, too. Yeah, it's, it's really cute when he does. He kind of like hunkers down and growls mm -hmm. a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love seeing him in his art style. It's just really cool. And the other thing that's... The other thing that's really cool is you do, looking at how big he is, you're like, yeah, that's, that's Link crouched down <laughs> in wolf size. <laughs> uh, so, I think we'll be sniffing out something there, too. Yeah. So, if I see it, cool. Oh, there we go. Now, apart from, uh, from combat, the other thing that Wolf Link will do is if you get close enough to, uh, to a wild animal, well, looks like you need to get a little bit closer there, Chico. Wolf, Wolf Link will go out and hunt the animal for you. He's able to sense prey, sense meat, um, and he'll help you out with yeah. that as but well. He doesn't go for acorn, though. No, just he doesn't. The meat. Just the meat. <laughs> yeah. um, you can see the animation also just really fluid, really nice. Mm -hmm. kind I can of actually hear the like chain a little bit as he walks. Yeah, he still has the, the chain around his paw from when he was in prison at the beginning of <laughs> Twilight Princess. Uh, He's wolf me, right? Oh, there he goes. Ah, sorry. Did it first. Oh, go, 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 There he goes. There you go. He, he, got, he got that, uh, got that boar uh, right there on the rump and, and took him down for you, Chico. Yeah, yeah. It's really impressive when you see, especially in combat with large groups of enemies. Wolf is incredibly powerful. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really interesting to see how he does, uh, especially through combat. That's right. Now, we also have um, from the show floor here at E3. One of the things that we're showing, obviously we've got uh, Amiibo on display here on the show floor. Um, one of the things that we're showing is the what the process is for creating Amiibo. Um, it starts very, very oh, simply uh, with a very basic uh, 3D printed model. Um, usually these are based off of some of the in-game models uh, that we see in the game. And uh, so in this case, Wolf Link started off with this very basic gray uh, in-game model. And if, you, if you're able to get up close on that, you can ah. see sort of the polygonal, polygonal nature of the print here. Um, Love the I think perhaps a little bit later in the day, we may have a chance to, uh, to show the full process, but there's uh, sort of about five different oh, steps in the creation process before we actually end up getting ah, to the, the final model here. Yeah, it's interesting. I think sometimes you don't appreciate the how much iteration goes into the creation of the amiibo, but when you're looking at some characters from certain games, uh, their physical structure might make it really challenging to make amiibo, especially when you're looking at balance and making sure that you've got them in a pose that they're going to have nice stability when you've actually got them, say, sitting on a shelf or you're playing with them. That's right. And in fact, you, you start with this basic 3D model print, and then from there, you, you have to uh, refine the model itself, and then you get into, sort of once you've finalized that model, um, then you start to get into some test painting and things like that, um, and it becomes, uh, oh, it's oh, actually oh. a very long process. It takes, uh, start to finish, it can take upwards of roughly, you know, 10 months to a year uh, from the very beginning of the Amiibo creation process until the actual product launches. Um, so it actually is a long process, uh, but, uh, but one that's it's fun to kind of watch and see as the Amiibo go through all those different forms. Yeah, especially as the poses get refined. I know I've seen certain iterations for some of our Amiibo where they're really experimenting with how best to pose the character, position the uh -huh. character, and it's neat seeing kind of what didn't work as well and, and the different test cases that they do along the way. That's right. Now, uh, now going back to Wolf Link in the game, we mentioned that uh, when you tap Wolf Link in, he will have 
uh, the number of hearts that you saved in Twilight Princess. Um, and he'll, he'll travel alongside you for the duration of your gameplay, um, and he'll do this until he loses all of his hearts. Uh, fortunately, Chico is uh, doing a good job here and is taking good care of Wolf Link, um, and so ah. he hasn't taken uh, a whole lot of damage yet. But once those hearts run out, um, then Wolf Link will disappear. Uh, and the next time, you know, if you, if you do want to play with him again, then you can wait one day in uh, real world time. Uh, not one day in in game time, but one day in real world time. And then you can uh, tap Wolf Link to the gamepad again and, and call him back into Breath of the Wild. Yep. Um, you need to get after those boars, Chico. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's interesting what a difference Wolf Link can make, especially if you've taken the time to really kind of make him a burly wolf before you bring him into the game. And, and if you're starting out, he can really help cover your back for you as you're getting a feel oh, for the gameplay. Oh, he was right behind me. Jeez. Uh oh. Well, that's the other thing you can do is oh. you can. Uh, oh. <laughs> he killed me. Yeah. You and he can... left the food for you too. It's yeah. very polite of him. It's so kind of him that he he takes down the prey but does not eat the meat. He leaves that for you. <laughs> he loves me. <laughs> Um, now the other thing, of course, is if you do get separated from Wolf Link, um, you can uh, you can blow your whistle, you can blow a whistle or whistle to him, and call him back to you. Um, and you'll also, of course, he is a wolf. Oh, listen to that bark! I love it. He's got a lot of really cool Look animations if you watch him. So good. <laughs> oh. Uh, so you can, uh, if he runs off in a different direction, then you can whistle to him, and he'll come right back to you. Talk at all about uh, his ability to sniff things out as well. Well, yeah, you will. Of course, he is a wolf, so uh, wolves having uh, good noses. Um, he'll be able to help you out and uh, later on in the game be able to sniff out certain items for you, uh, which is quite nice. But of course, uh, Wolf Link isn't the only amiibo that's going to be compatible with uh, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Talk about this interesting display. Um, 